driving. Yeah, I've got a real problem over the next couple of days. We've got strong winds. First of all from the southwest. And then from the northwest. Which is sort of really blown in the two completely separate corners of the lake. And I just don't know whether I start off in the wind, hope the fish stay there, or go in the non-windy corner and wait for it to arrive. Just dunno. Dunno, really just dunno. Uh, so I thought I'd come round here and check this out. Let me think I'll de-steam the car a little bit. Well, I have the only lily up here at the moment that looks this. Myself. This one's free. I'm going to go in here. I think what we'll do is we'll go and have a look first because I'm just concerned about that the wind and the, what it's doing. It's been casting as well. It's in trouble. It's not a bit problematic, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Right, let me park up and we'll uh, see really where we really end up. <clears throat> looks familiar it is familiar um, the way the wind seems to be pushing and the way it seems to be going I can try and get a bait where I was at those two fish last week and I'm going to still put one out there put one in the middle still because that's air is just getting baited and baited uh, yeah I think I've just got to just got to go for it really got to go for it there's a bit of sunshine maybe for a little while, I got to about 10 o'clock, so I've actually got four hours to get this crank. It's a bit windy, so we shall see. Um, yeah, that way over there in that corner there, that's where it's really hacking into. But then when it blows from the northwest, it's just going to be flat calm over there. And that is actually the last two nights, so uh, the wind's going to be pushing through this gap out into this water here. I think this is just where I've got to be. It's sort of casual, well, really? I'll be back in here again, but I think, yeah, I really am. Got to be back in here again. Well, the angle of the wind and everything's blowing. It's not a lot I can do. It's just, yeah, what I've got to do. So, with that in mind, and the fact it's not raining, let's get rock and rolling. Managed it. The kit is up. Everything is up. I've literally just missed the last rays of sunshine. It is now gone. Cloud building up and a few drizzles of uh, spots of rain on the overlap already. I managed to get the uh, um, rods out there, so I'm quite happy about that. Exactly where I wanted them to. 
just got to do some quick fine tuning on the bobbins but I thought I'd quickly do this because I thought it was going to actually start raining good and proper and carry on raining so it's nice to get out walk around I'll be back out again well late this evening I think it will be next time I can get back out um, I'm not sure if Ian's coming down forecasts a bit uh, well, a bit iffy on the gale force winds and things and he's uh, still not uh, uh, still not overly happy about situations like that after the uh, incident the other year don't blame him really takes a while to build your confidence up about uh, you know, fishing out in weather like this but uh, I'm going to hide under this tree to be perfectly honest with you at the moment there's a bit of drizzle in the air and also probably hear me a little bit there you go ah, beautiful hey absolutely beautiful ah dear so yeah my thought process for why I'm fishing here um while the southwest is blowing I can get my hook baits out to exactly where I want to get my hook baits out to where I was catching fish last week um Steve over the other side lost something last week Adrian had a couple of small ones whereas I clearly had a big one and uh, no doubt probably lost a big one so this area I think is the better area based on that information when the wind switches around to the northwest I've got to stand up my legs are hurting Whoa, yeah. when the wind switch, switches around to the northwest I'm hoping it actually blows the fish through that gap back out into this sort of uh, open water area where I am and uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll drop one short back onto the middle spots of the last couple of nights um, I've got to get up early Saturday morning I'm going to collect my daughters from the mother-in-law so depending on what the weather forecast is for Saturday morning because there's a little bit of a rain front coming through uh, yeah still wavering on whether I do the three nights or not it's, it's all about uh, I don't like rushing to pack up these days the older you get I don't really like it not, it's just not good it's a bit of a oh wipes me out a bit knackered this morning to be perfectly honest with you setting up in, in, in all this rushing around then I got here about six and I think when I said to you uh, it's now more or less eight so two hours is sort of well it's a, it's a long time to set up really especially I've had no breakfast or nothing and was a, I'm an old man now I'm well, not quite really am I to be fair but uh, yeah, I think that uh, that weather front is uh, the only way. I think it's ten o'clock. It's the real sort of uh, full-on rain, so I might get a little bit of broken rain between now and then. Um, I'm hoping um, I want to get a little bit of bait out there, but I'm not going to put a lot. But I want a little bit of bait out there. But I want to hang it out until about ten o'clock before I actually go and do it. So um, just have to wait for that one. We shall see. Right, uh, it's drizzling again now, so I'm going to uh, catch up with you inside the bivvy. Oh dear, yeah, it's uh, a little bit drizzly out there now. I think there, uh, there's possibly some sunshine again later on today. Um, I know there's supposed to be some this evening, it just depends how quick this uh, rain and wind blows through. I've looked for the forecast, and um, tomorrow Friday doesn't look too bad. The rain's um, coming in there. Uh, 10 o'clock on uh, Saturday morning so mm, we'll just have to see about that we'll just see how the how the fishing how the fishing goes and whether I actually push you know pushing and doing that third night or do I you know head home on uh, head home on for oh, well head to go and collect the uh, the youngest on Friday who apparently is really enjoying herself so might be grumpy with me but if I pick her up in the afternoon it might not be too bad realistically but we'll see, just see really see how it goes see how things are there and it pans out but uh, yeah I've gone for same sort of tactics I ended up using uh, last week 15mm um, pop-ups on or 15mm catalyst pop-ups on um, tracked out towards that gap I haven't got any freebies out there yet um, I don't want to do that too early I like to do it about sort of half ten, but I think it's going to be rainy by half ten, so I have to study the uh, study the weather, and hopefully there might be a little bit of a little bit of a break 
just so I can get sort of like 10 spawns out there. I don't want a lot, I just want a, just a tiny little amount out there. I'll put some out in the middle as well, because uh, depending on what the, w the wind's doing in the night, I might switch to that middle rod. At some point, I think I'll have to switch that one in, not, you know, not middle rod, but middle of the lake. I think I'll have to switch to that anyway, so I might have a little bit of uh, bait out there building up a spot. Yeah, the rain's uh, sort of picking up a little bit now, so uh, just uh, see where we go from here realistically. Yeah, you might even hear the spots on the roof now a little bit earlier than anticipated, but I think there's the odd sort of random little bit of rain popping up here and there before the real sort of heavy stuff arrives for a few hours. I just hope that will sort of spur them on. I was surprised on the way here how uh, how little um, water there was on the um, on the fords and things. It seems to have sort of uh, gone through and soaked into the ground a lot quicker than I thought it would. So obviously means the ground's still pretty pretty dry and things like that. So. We shall see. Lake levels still quite high. I think it's sort of part of what's causing us a few little problems and things about where we're going to catch fish and where we're not going to catch fish. I'm going to check my thing because I have a bad habit of um, turning itself off. It does flat, but sort of uh, clip that back on there. It uh, does flash when it goes flat. If you're not looking at it, it you can't see it flashing. I think I have a spare one somewhere. I need to get both of them going, don't I really? If one goes flat, and the other one carries on. Just have to see, really. One thing I do now, I need. It's uh, it's kind of eight o'clock now. I need a brew. I got up at half past four. I woke up at half past four. I just thought, you know, went for a wee. Thought, oh, it's half past four. The alarm's going for five. There's absolutely no point in this. I should just get up and stay up. So I'll do me. I'll do me bed, and I might have a. A doze in the rain, that could be the, the option, and then sort of uh, get up this evening. We'll see, you know, see what, see what occurs. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think I need a little bit of coffee and things like that, get me going, get me moving. Uh, get me brain thinking, it's uh, struggling a little bit at the moment, quite tired. Uh, obviously, we're always quite tired at the moment. Let's just keep trying to send me to the doctors. Maybe I need to go to the doctors, I don't know really. I just need to analyse how much sleep I'm actually getting, and then maybe I'm not fishing too much, maybe I'm fishing too hard at the moment, I'm not sleeping, so I'm getting quite hard. Uh, was, uh, after this trip, it's uh, you know uh, three weeks off, so I think I might uh, catch up with uh, catch up with my sleep. So I won't be so I won't be so tired. I think well, I'm tired now because I've got half past four. Uh, I went at ten, which is quite enough sleep, but no, and. Um, Last week was just four nights, I sort of did the same thing, thing more or less really. Got the five o'clock and did the same did the same thing and did four nights fishing. And I've only had a uh, well, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night in, in, in bed really. And last night wasn't very long, so yeah, it could be that wearing me out realistically. So, right, I'm going to have that, uh, get that, get that brew kit sorted because I haven't got the brew kit sorted at all or anything like that. Let's get the lights sorted. <laughs> Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, dear. Never. Good. Let's go. Crack on. Well, the rain has uh, really, really arrived now, as opposed to a few little drizzles and bits and bobs earlier. Had a little bit of a shower earlier on, but now we're in the full swing of it now. I must admit, the wind's finally sort of uh, picked up to whatever it is going to pick up to. It's about 30 mile an hour gusts today. Um, on the coast, it's a little bit more, it's like 40 miles an hour. So, hopefully, that sort of uh, stays where it's put and doesn't come inland. I don't really fancy any of that, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, just sort of see how, how we go, really. Um, we did manage to get some bait out there, which is quite good. Uh, I was set back with a wind knot and had to uh, sort that out, and then was. Well, lost a bit of line. It was incredibly spawny. Oh, unbelievable. Literally, I reckon one more wrap of um, lost line would have mean I couldn't have actually fished where I've been baying up. Well, I could have fished there. I'd have just had to, uh, you know, 
took around, find some lion, respool it, and things like that, which, to be perfectly honest with you, would have probably resulted in me getting wet and less bait out there, so, yeah, it's not too bad, and I've been concentrating on the long range rod anyway, so, after the point that actually happened, um, I was only really sort of concentrating on a little bit back from the from that gap I'm aiming at because I'm assuming that at some point in time when the wind changes direction I won't be um, fishing that far out to be perfectly honest with you it would be a miracle if I was but you never know it's only this is 20 mile an hour winds in the northwest so I might might get away with it really I think what's occurring at the moment is sort of in a slightly um, go a little bit more north there is a um, possibility of uh, you know um, well you say it might uh, it might go my way it might not go my way I'll we'll just have to see but uh, you know there we go is what it is it's, you know the, see the rods bouncing around a little bit in the wind and everything I always have my tips up high here so it makes life easier playing fish and things so yeah, anyone with eagle eyes and keenness would have noticed. Um, switch back to the Delcoms this week, to be honest with you. Um, it's just the wind, I'm curious. To see if I, um, you know, those, those fox buzzers are brilliant, however, do beep a little bit too much for my liking. I think, I don't know. It's not a sort of, uh, I think it's the braid rod that goes off more than the mono rod so we'll have to see what occurs here realistically um seen quite a few fish out there scooching around this morning so yeah i'm, I'm happy i'm confident but i'm feeling good realistically we just have to uh, uh fingers crossed from where we go really hmm all right well look at that blue sky blue sky well, I think the uh, horrendous weather has passed. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Not bad at all. An absolutely stunning through here. A little, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to walk for any of that. Probably get absolutely soaking wet. But it's certainly, uh, certainly looking beautiful out here today now. Absolutely fantastic. Storm has passed and the place is looking gorgeous. And beads on me bivy, it's still nicely waterproof. Look at that. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Yeah, no, it's, it's ace, perfect. Don't know whether the wind's actually changed the northwest yet, don't think it's supposed to have done. But uh, yeah, no, it's good. Absolutely beautiful. Tower looking good in the sunlight, absolutely looking fantastic. Uh, Steve and Adrian are over the other side again this Wednesday, which is nice. But yeah, look at that. There we go, absolutely beautiful. You know, you couldn't ask for, couldn't ask for a perfect evening, could you? But I can't start cooking my food actually inside the bivy. Probably should actually be doing it outside the bivy to be perfectly honest with you. So I'm going to sit out and enjoy this weather. But, uh, I've set it all up now, so it's sort of a bit late, which is a shame. It's been nice to sort of set up and, uh, you know, storm has passed, hey? Oh well. Uh, Ian's not going to be joining me, I don't think, this weekend, unless he completely changes his mind about. Uh, Uncle had earlier. He's a bit worried about the weather warning after his uh, uh, last year's uh, October disaster. But uh, maybe he might uh, he might change his mind. To be perfectly honest with you, he checks the latest weather forecast. He might find um, yeah, it's well, storm in a teacup as always. I've noticed that with the. Uh, weather forecasting people it's all doom and gloom and mega disaster and global warming and yeah it's just just, a, just your average uh, average day storm really but man yeah, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful today it's nice to see my uh still waterproof 
I shouldn't have said Tommy used it to be fair. The wrap that is. Um, yeah, so who knows? Who knows? Absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic out here. Ah, <sighs> see if we can catch a carp later on tonight. That'd be good. Right, I'm going to uh, put the food on. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy the evening, really. Beautiful. Well, the wind direction has now uh, swung around to the uh, northwest, as anticipated. Um, a little bit of cloud around at the moment in the distance, which is sort of uh, affecting the sunlight. There was a little bit of sunlight out here a minute ago. So I thought well, it was a good idea come and do a little bit of filming when the sunlight's out, but uh, it seems to have uh, gone by a little bit of cloud over there. Which is one of those things, isn't it, really? Uh, yeah, all looking good really, don't you think? All looking good, looking nice. Um, I think this is it now from the next couple of days. You know, gentle northwesterly breeze coming across the lake, looking really good. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful skies. Uh, I'm feeling reasonably confident that if I do catch something out there, I can actually get the bait back out over to where, where I want it to be, which would be good, really. And that's a bit sort of uh, a bit useful and handy. I was a little bit worried about that. Could be okay. Um, I think there was a little bit of rain forecast tomorrow, but to be honest with you, I haven't, um, haven't checked that, so... Don't know realistically, but uh, yeah, it's all looking good, all looking nice. Don't know if there's anyone else down the bottom lake. I do know uh, Stevie and Adrian are sort of opposite me in the areas they're normally going. Uh, yeah, just quite lucky for Adrian because that's the swim I was torn with the idea of going in, but uh, he's gone in there at the moment anyway, so I'm sort of glad I'm here really. A little bit guilty otherwise. He sort of fishes that swim randomly, so he obviously had a little bit of an idea about going in there as much as me. So, interesting to see how he uh, gets on with his uh, one night in there, realistically. Yeah, very nice. Very flat, calm, and quiet now, isn't it? Realistically. Not as, yeah, it's all peaceful and quiet and quiet and down now. Ah, wonderful, isn't it? Really nice. Really do like being out here. You hear the road in the background, unfortunately, because that's the way the wind's blowing. Realistically, it's uh, pretty, pretty peaceful and quiet. The odd wood pigeon around. That view, oh, that picture there, I think it's just, you can, you can paint that, it looks absolutely beautiful. I can just build a house there and look at that every day. Probably a bit blowy when it comes from the winds from the southwest, but anyway. <laughs> oh, fantastic, eh? Hey? Absolutely fantastic. More could we, uh, what can we wish for? Right, I'm gonna well, tuck myself away, hunker down a little bit for the, uh, for the evening, I think. It's about half seven, quarter eight, maybe a bit later, don't know. Yeah, a bit of sunset, I might come back out again. Just have to see. I haven't used my Delcoms for so long, I can't remember whether the um, little night lights are on. I've noticed that one of them is slightly leaning to the left. But anyway, I'll fix that one tomorrow. I'm not going to muck around with that one today. Yeah. Quite happy with me. New and hooky mat. That seems to be worked well last week. So that's quite good. Um, yeah. Haven't heard much or seen much for now. So a lot of the time while it was uh, raining, scanning the scanning the water for signs of carp. And boy, there was a lot of signs of carp. Really, really was. This is a sort of quieting down now. I think there must have been 
I might have to have a completely different approach to this place next year. I'm not going to do it this year now because I've got a, a three weeks off. I might sneak in the odd little couple of nights, but realistically, I must need a different approach next year. I don't know. I've got to think about this. As I say, it's a different approach, different area. I don't know. Something's, something's got to slightly change. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's feasibly possible to get a bait to where I see the fish, which is, could be why they're there. You know. No, uh, oh, I just had a carp. Way down there. A bit of a flat spot I can see, so. They're all around and about, aren't they? This is good. Very good indeed. Oh, yeah. Happy with that. Really happy with that. Righty hope. Well, morning from inside the bivvy. I'll go for a little bit of a wander in a minute outside. Show you around. It's um, been a very, very pleasant day to be perfectly honest with you. Light north, uh, nice light northwesterly breeze. Got that out in the mouth, in the brain. A um, little bit of rain and drizzle, I think, at one point in the early hours this morning. Uh, and in general, um, about it, really. A little bit of a temperature drop. Not a bleep. Not a liner, not a knot, not a nothing. Not a, not a thing, unfortunately. God, I needed that. Um, yeah, bit of a uh, yeah, bit of a bit of a shocker, really. I expect to way more than that from last night with all those conditions and everything. I've got no idea how um, Steve and Adrian got over the other side. I shall find out this morning. I'll come around for a chat, and we'll just have to uh, take it from there and see. Realistically, but uh, yeah, I don't know whether to. I put a bit of thought into what to do. I keep looking at the weather forecast and um, Saturday's weather so bad it looks like I'll probably be in out tomorrow. Um, so I shall it's sort of sitting around all day. I won't be doing that. Um, you know, that just seems to be a complete and waste of time at the moment. Um, we don't seem to be able to catch anything during the day. Um, I think you would if you could fish the right areas, most definitely. Really convinced about that. Um, 100%. But I just, those areas, I think, are just, the fish know how they can, where they can go and where they can avoid you, where they can hide, and anything like that. Keep, uh, keep away from you, realistically. You know, I've seen something on the far margins, a sort of white thing moving around, so I'm actually going to go and um, have a look with the binoculars and then. Uh, Take you for a bit of a wander outside after that, and then tell you what I've seen. It's probably just a seagull or a heron wandering around, but it's way up the bank, so I'm going to look at that and tripping. Well, a heron turned out to be a Canadian geese, a century goose that sort of uh, stands up and keeps an eye out for any predators, hence why the long white neck and everything like that. Um, it appears to be a, a day angler over the far, far side. Uh, over there somewhere in the trees, yeah, so. Um, what is interesting that I've just seen, I will flip the screen around at some point. Um, what a grey algae on the stop, yeah. Interesting, don't normally get that on here. Hmm, I wonder if this is our uh, lack of fish issue. Um, it's nice to find that, to be perfectly honest with you. On here, considering the conditions over the last few days, wind and rain, you thought it would break broken it all up, I think. It really hasn't bothered. So, hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, yeah, it's all sort of pretty much flat calm wherever you sort of go, really. Over the other lake, I'll spin around and you'll see behind me, but you can see the lake that I'm on is all flat calm. That lake over there is pretty flat calm, and uh, yeah, not a lot going on realistically. Very um, 
Mm. Mm. Very peaceful and quiet. I can see Steve's uh, place was landing there. It looks pretty much in the same place and dry. Uh, I don't know. I was expecting to put it up in the tree if it's drying it. Uh, don't know. Hopefully it's been a little bit more productive for them, but yeah, I'm not sure about the, the algae bloom. That's don't need that realistically. Uh, I'm going to wander up here and check in the other swim actually to see if it's in the in this one as well. Along this margin, the wind, it's where the wind's obviously been blowing in the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Or well, a couple of hours since last night. That's when it's been blowing. Yes, yeah, in these margins here. Interesting. Very interesting. That's a, you know, I want to have a little bit of a mooch in the other lake. Um, maybe I'm glad this could be me. Last trip for a while. I don't know the bouncing, I'm using sort of like my thingy. What am I using? I don't know. Selfie stick thing. I should use my WhatsApp pole a little bit more, didn't I? My gimbal a bit more. I've been a bit lazy. I'm going to have to take my phone apart on that one. So there's no signs. Blue green. Well, it's not blue green algae, it's just green algae in here whatsoever. Coloured up nicely. After all that southwesterly wind, you'd expect it to. So I haven't heard much um, crashing, um, but I was just so tired recently. Slept like an absolute log, to be perfectly honest with you. So I don't think it would have made uh, any difference at all. So you can see the murky colour of the lake. And um, I'll take you off here and take you for a little bit of a, a tour round as well. Um, yeah, very, very, uh, very strange and interesting. Um, yeah, okay. I've put some thought into this today. Do I, uh, you know, do we just blast those rods back out there again and talk out with bait and hope we have a sort of miracle night like we did before? Or, uh, or not? Hmm, okay. Radio. So, have to see them, won't we, boys and girls? Not sure how well you'll be able to see that, but there's the green algae. You get it a bit before. I had it a bit before, you just got to be careful and wash your hands and everything. Uh, it's when you get to that little sort of uh, like bluey tint, I think, when you get the blue green stuff, but you've still got to be very conscious. Don't know why that's appeared on here this year. Um, we've got weed in here. Um, water quality should have actually got better. Um, yeah, strange one, really. Very strange one. Mm -hmm. We shall see. So yeah, we've got to put a bit of thought into whether we stick one up the middle ish area. Um yeah, I put a lot of boilers over the top. Those range rod type thing. <coughs> or um uh stick that sort of range gap there. Dunno. I've got most of the fish with a sort of single rod out there rather than two rods, so I don't know, could be the lines. Uh, I'm sort of, I was a bit paranoid with that line and things. Um, yeah. So I'll just have to, have to see, really. But yeah, if you come over this one, there's no signs of algae bloom at all, at all whatsoever. A, you know, and even the, the tufties and the tufty chicks are actually over here. You can, I don't know if you can see them over there. Not going to zoom in or anything, but they're, they're quite happy. I don't want to go and sort of disturb them, but they're, they seem to be in there a lot more uh, this week. Last week they're out in front of us, out in the main lake and everything, but this week they're not. So I don't know really. Don't know. Just have to see. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh well. So I've looked at the weather, as I said before, and it looks atrocious on Saturday, so see me going home tomorrow. Um, can't see him turning up today, to be honest with you. He doesn't want to sit through a uh, whole whole day of rain, whatsoever I don't think. Uh, 
Saturday by himself. So, oh, you be uh, crazy. Oh, Steve's got his net up drying in the wind. So, I hope it's drying in the wind because he's had a fish. As opposed to drying in the wind because uh, he's uh, just drying it out because of the rain. He's slowly but surely packing up. Ah, I don't blame him really. I think there's two guys over there. Last side over there, I know there's a van. Uh, but yeah. Oh well, right. I'm not going to stray very, very far. And things. I'm going to go back and sit in my bivvy. It's uh, got the wife at 16 degrees, but it feels quite pleasant to be in my fat. Uh, yeah. And uh, soak up the. Uh, yeah. Soak it all up, really. See how we get on. Right, at some point I've got to make my video, put all that together, but if I'm going home tomorrow, um, yeah, I don't know really, I might do it today. I'm crazy, I'll be home by midday tomorrow, I can do that tomorrow on Saturday morning, but uh, there we go. Right, catch up later, I'll have thought about what I'm going to do. I'm going to do sort of reposition these rods and what I'm actually going to be up to tonight. And um, I've got to try and catch a fish before I, before I get out of here. So, mm -hmm. it's got a while. Nothing really occurs during the day anymore. So, I've got to thinking I'll spend sort of until midday ish, one o'clock ish, maybe a bit longer thinking about what to do. Then recast, rebate, and uh, have it all done really. Radio. Well, I've had a, yeah. Bit of a regroup, a bit of thought process over the day, catching an eye on the wind, seeing what it's going to do. Um, we might get the odd random shower now, so I'm sort of taking the opportunity to uh, um, I've moved one of the rods. I've actually left the other rod out, I'm going to leave it out for 48 hours. Um, just to sort of set it, you know, just let it just settle into that area, you know, and, and blend in a little bit, and the carp might come across it a few times. and. Um, might just pick it up. I do this uh, on and off occasionally, especially when it's hard going. It's worth uh, certainly is worth trying something like that occasionally, just just sort of see what happens realistically. You know, you've got to be it's a bit. Uh, you know, if any car, it's right if you're dropping baits over the side and you can check and everything, your rig's all okay and looking good. You can quite happily leave it there. But when you're casting them out, you uh, it's always can be a bit of a gamble, but it's got to be worth a go, I believe, on that. I've done it on the left hand rod. By the, by the entrance to the sanctuary. I've uh, moved the right hand rod along out in front of the island now, in front of me. Uh, maybe the fish are sort of coming through that gap and, and sort of not, not going sort of left the way they want them to go. Maybe they're going sort of more right, so I've sort of cast up against uh, as close as I can get to that island where they go along there. I know they come around that right hand corner, so I've sort of walked down to the um, the gravel and the sort of like the second of the gravel swims next door and cast it straight out from there. Um, I won't have any worries about anyone coming to set up in there because uh, you know, people and we don't do that. Crikey, I've got itchy eyes. All right. Oh, very may. They did say it's going to be sort of like high hay fever levels and things. I do get a little bit of that occasionally. Mm. But uh, I've done that. I put four spawns out there, it wasn't interesting, but a great deal. I tucked up the other rod because it's sort of uh, half two, three o'clock ish, and I didn't want to um, or, you know, spook anything that might be out there. Occasionally, you can get a fish sort of uh, half four or five o'clock, something like that, which I'd like to sort of stand a chance of doing and spawning this late in the day. I don't feel is a good idea, realistically. So, we'll see. Let me just take you outside and show you what's around anyway. Well, as you can see, it is sort of quite bright and a little bit sunny out here. The uh, wind's definitely now from the northwest, and that's the direction of the uh, the rain's going to come. There's a few little sort of looking little rainy clouds and things, so they might build up and come and get me. So I thought it was a sort of good idea to do that. It's generally sort of all around and about, so I just sort of bubble up and decide to decide when it's going to rain on you here, there, and anywhere. Um, so I could end up getting rained on 
last thing I want to do is be baiting up and it just starts raining so I'd rather do it now, get it over and done with. Ah, so I said it took about four casts to get that rod on the corner of that island out there so it's not too bad. Um, four spawns over there as well so that wasn't too bad either. Um, it's quite a long way away from the other one so I don't think I spooked the bait on anything on the other rod. So I'll sit back and relax and, and enjoy it and uh, if it rains it rains, if not well it doesn't. But uh, yeah, see what we can do realistically. We'll get the, uh, might get tea in early tonight, I don't know, we'll just see really. We're looking quite good out there. Just have to see how things go. Um, um, Andy's sort of, his friend of mine's turned up and gone down the end, going into the middle lake across there. So we'll see how he gets on tonight. Um, he packs up and goes very early in the morning, so I'm not quite sure if I'll be awake when he does that tomorrow morning. I don't know, you never know. I think I more or less decided it's my last morning, so I generally get up early on my last morning because uh, I just like to sort of enjoy enjoy it for what it is, take it all on board, relax, and just yeah, should be good. Right, let's uh, enjoy this, and uh, if we're really lucky, catch a carp maybe. Just, don't know, gotta give it a go, mate, gotta give it a go.